So one of the key elements of the squat is getting the knees towards the chest, but oftentimes when someone tries that in standing, as they drop down, their body will lean forward like that, or their back will start to round into it as they go down. Both of those, you, with both of those compensations, you lose the tension or you lose the strength in the glutes. So a great way to work on the pattern of that movement is in all fours, rocking from all fours, the a hip to heel rock. For that exercise, go onto your hands and your knees, find a neutral spine position. So it almost looks like a little bit of a sag through the low back. If you're here, you're too far up. That's gonna, then as you squat down, you're gonna go into a, a lumbar flexed position. So find that nice neutral position. Right now, my knees are a little bit wider than my ankles, so I'm kind of slightly turned out. And I want you to rock your hips back towards your heels while maintaining that flat position of the spine there. As I go down, I don't want to see rounding that way. And I don't want to see over tilting where you feel compression right there. Find a nice neutral position, rock back and come forward. As I rock backwards, I'm looking to feel the tension or feel a stretch through the back of the glutes. I don't want to feel any pinch or any compression on the front of the hips. This would be a good one to practice with the knees wide for a few repetitions, five to 10 repetitions. Bring them in slightly for a few repetitions. And then you can even go all the way together. And you'll notice that when the knees are all the way together, you're more likely to feel some compression on the front of the hip. But the key is trying to get that sensation into the back of the glute and the hamstrings and then also maintaining that low back kind of neutral position so those are some tips on how to perform the hand heel rock which will help you get into a more efficient squat position